are your, your goals for turn two in terms of criterion A, B, and C? Yeah, for criterion A, I think I should more improve on terminology because uh, one of the uh, comments put on the story that I need to uh, improve uh, uh, more terminology. And in criterion B, I should oh, make... Hold on real quick. So your goal is more terminology. Yes. That's excellent. We're, we're going to put grades down in the little spot. The big comments up here in the big spot. So more terminology. Write that down. And then let's quickly make a plan for how you're going to learn more terminology. What, what will that look like as you're gaining it? Well, my mother said maybe I should, like, because my sister, she has a tutor. Mm -hmm. So uh, my mother says maybe you should write a story during, like, the uh, vacation. Mm -hmm. And you give it, like, to the teacher. And she tells you how to, like, improve it. And then I could, like, improve it in the vacation. So in term two, I can do it. That will improve your story writing. Yes. But in terms of your terminology, do you remember how I talked about the flashcards? Yes. Use the flashcards. Make it a game. And practice that. And then we'll use lots and lots of examples in class and read stories with your tutor and say, is this the setting? Is this the conflict? And talk to your tutor about the conflict. You know what I mean? Or if you, it's your sister's tutor, is that right? Well, you don't have to utilize it. But then you're finding examples for the, for the terms after you know them. Okay? So put, use flashcards. Trust me, that, that'll be the first la layer. Use flashcards. Alright, Criterion B. What is your goal for Criterion B? Uh, transitions, like to improve on, like, when do I write after them, and uh, things like that. You would, uh, and uh, to improve on the introduction and conclusion. Fantastic. Good. And in fact, you showed a higher level order to what you were doing, you just didn't have the transitions to help with it. So, excellent. So, working on your transitions, introduction, and conclusions. And Criterion C? Uh, sentence and uh, verb tense. Perfect. I'm going to add those into your goals for the overall term. Okay? Um, so it'll go straight on your report card, but I'm also going to write down what you've done well at. Because we haven't talked about that, have we? Yes, sir. Um, what, whatever we're done, what, uh, should we start on something else? Yes. You as a group, move on to the next stage of this process. Okay? Alright, so if I to write this as I will write it on the report card. has uh, done very well at providing detail in his writing and has overall improved his language. term to a six, which is nice improvement. It really is. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to now say he has set goals in term two to improve in what were the three things? Uh, it was the terminology. Terminology, good. Literary terminology. Okay. Transitions. Transitions. Introduction and You might find that these continue to be your goals in term three, because that's a lot of a lot of different goals. So we'll look at one and then we'll look at the next. Okay? Alright. Very good. That's done. Now all we have left to do is determine where you are right now in terms of your levels. And you know what? I'm gonna just fold this over so you can work on it more successfully. So I think it's a good idea to have the staple in there. So do you want to use your pencil? Alright. Final term grade. Let's put it in blue. So you recognize that this is not another assignment, it's a term grade. All right. And we're looking at the most consistent level that you've achieved, because that's this looks back right to the words that we've used on your rubric. OK, it's just a symbol for those words. So what have you been most consistently consistent at in Criteria A? Uh, exactly. You've gotten it twice, haven't you? And you got a six once. Good. And our most recent evidence is also a seven. In terms of Criterion B, that was kind of a pre-test, and then this was after I taught you for a while. So definitely we're looking at a five, and you're really consistent. This makes it a little really easy on me. Five, six, six. Yes.
So, overall, add them up. What does that give you? 18. 18, write that just down below there so you kind of remember what the total was. And walk with me over to the board. And bring your portfolio. Alright. And using the grade boundaries, where are you for term one? Four. Good. And where would you like to be in term two? Uh, five or six. Five or six. All right. If you follow your goals, I guarantee you will get a five. You're at the upper end of a four because you've improved in your language. You'll be looking at least at a five. Well, let's make that the first step, and then we'll go on to a six. All right. Thank you very much, Uncle Rockman. Thank you very much, videographer.